Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a what's my bag slash review slash how I pack it slash what fits in it with my speedy bandolier in the 30. And if you're interested in seeing, please keep watching. <laughs> So let's get into it. I'm going to do the review first and then I'm going to do a what's my bag and all that other good stuff after. And this is my first requested video. I love that you guys are requesting things. I think it's super, super fun. This one is um, requested by Carissa Diane. Hey, thank you so much for requesting this. I think this is awesome. So if you guys have any requests or anything like that, um, I will get to it. I promise I have kind of a small list from you guys and I will get to them as soon as I can. Today it happened to be convenient because I am carrying this bag to work so it sort of worked out perfectly for this video and yeah so let's jump right into the review it's not going to be too in depth but short review about this bag so this is the speedy bandolier in the 30 size and 30 it's 30 centimeters but it's in length it's 11.8 inches sorry i wrote it down that's why i'm looking and in height it's 8.3 inches and um in width it's 6.7 inches and this is the monogram print, so it has the Vachetta leather. Mine is the older style or the older model where the stitching comes below the gold hardware grommets here. Now they come, now the stitching comes above the grommets and this piece of leather is a little bit poofier or like, I don't know, it looks a little different. It's a, like, a little like, looks squishy a little bit. And um, mine is also the one with the pocket on the inside with the smooth lining and no zipper which I'll get to in a minute and the bandolier style is the style that has the leather going down the sides with the d-rings on either end so that it has the detachable shoulder strap it is an extra few hundred dollars and um in my opinion I think it's worth it that's kind of why I ended up neglecting my regular speedy and selling it but I regret that we all know that I regret that if you watch my luxury attic tag video because of sentimental reasons but this is kind of just a little bit easier to carry around because you can put it on the on your shoulder you can wear it as a crossbody I'll insert some modeling shots um so you guys could sort of see it on me I'm 5'7 and mine has patinaed um quite a bit but my personal opinion when it comes to monogram bags, just because when I think about Louis Vuitton, I think about the history and the luggage and the vintage vibe. I love patina, um, patina vachetta leather. That's just, uh, there's something about it that I just really, really like. I do not like it when it's brand new. That's just my personal opinion. Sorry, I know a lot of people love vachetta right when you get it and it's stark white, but I love like the, like look at the handles. They're so much darker than the rest of everything because of the use, the wear, the love out of it. I think that's just awesome it just reminds me of I don't know the vintage pieces I love that and mine was made in France which is stamped here on that side of the bag and just oh another thing about the speedy B is that it has the two zippers on the top the regular speedy only had one and the pull tab was a piece of leather and these have the two holes on the top here so that you could lock them together with the locking keys, which I lost. But I lost those, so I no longer have the lock to it. And what else? Okay, so the strap is three pieces. The center strap is sort of like an extension. So you don't need the center strap if you're just going to wear it on your shoulder, depending on the length that you like it. I always leave my center strap on because I like the way it looks when I just wear it on my shoulder and it's like long on my side and then it's in the perfect position to just throw over my um, body as a crossbody at this length. So I always leave the three on. What else? This bag does not have any feet, just like the regular Speedy. It's literally identical to the Speedy except for the fact that it has the side leather pieces and the two top zippers. So other than that, it's identical to the Speedy. In my opinion, I think the Speedy 30, um, either B or regular Speedy, is my favorite size. It's just a perfect size for an everyday handbag. I don't know why, I just realized I put my poof on the side that my LVs are upside down. That's so annoying. That's dumb. Let's change it. Anyways, I got my poof from um, Last Call online. And I love it. It's really summery and neon. It's cute. I usually have it on my Nano. But this bag is very fallish to me. 
has a very fall vibe so I wanted to like brighten it up um, for the spring and summer and right now it is packed so let's get on with the inside and then I can also review kind of like the inside as well also too when everything is out all right guys so I kind of angled the camera down so you guys could see things better one thing I want to say that kind of annoys me is that the fact that the rest of the hardware on the handbag is aging gracefully but it's aging and this piece um, on the strap looks brand new um that's great but I would like it to age <laughs> kind of the same as the rest of the hardware on the bag. I know this is a problem for a few people out there. I have seen it on videos and stuff like that. So it is kind of a normal problem. But I mean, apparently they use better hardware on the straps than they do on the actual handbag. So if anything, I would like it to be vice versa. <laughs> but um, or I'd prefer it to just age the same with each other. But that was just one thing I want to mention. It's nothing that's a deal breaker for me. So yeah, so let's get into the bag. So it opens up with the two zippers. The first thing I'm going to do is pull the things out of this pocket, which looks like this. And it's this size and it has the leather trim and no zipper with the smooth interior. And the first thing I have in here are my keys, which usually are attached to my clay, but um, I didn't feel like having them attached apparently. Um, this is my clay in the Damier Azur. If you guys follow me, you know that I use this as my wallet. I currently have eight cards in here, two business cards, um, one dollar, and a um, a hair tie. Also, when I'm not using it attached to my keys, I keep this guy inside of it. So that's the first thing in my bag that I pulled out. Next thing is, I mean, it's very obvious you could see it, it's so huge, is my GM Agenda. Or my larger agenda sorry that's upside down and I have it in the Damiaya Ben this is another highly requested video from you guys I promise I'm going to do a setup soon I just need to utilize it a little bit longer as an actual agenda before I do a thorough um, review slash setup on it but so far I've been obsessed with it and loving it this guy usually goes in my work tote when I'm carrying my work tote with me with my laptop it's not really ever in my handbags but because I'm not bringing my laptop with me today I'm not bringing my work tote so this is now in my handbag to bring with me to work because I actually do need it later and the next thing in here is my iPad mini which is just the regular iPad mini I'm not really too sure what generation it is I got it about two years ago um this is another thing that is always in my work tote not usually in my handbag so that's just one thing in here now the rest of everything in here is things that I would carry normally in this bag when I'm wearing it out and about and blah 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 so a water bottle usually I have in my bags with me all the time next thing is my pochette accessory new model in the monogram print and what I love about this is that it doubles as a clutch and a wristlet I've been obsessed with it lately as those things and when I'm carrying it with this bag it's great because then I could just take this strap off and make it a crossbody if I wanted to just quickly run and use this inside of here it's kind of a mess okay I'm so obsessed with this lately it's the um forever 21 high shimmer lip gloss in color I don't know oh the color fuchsia purple and I'm wearing it right now it's just super I don't know it's just super shiny and my regular apple earbuds my Victoria's Secret body splash or body mist um in tees a blistex um regular chapstick a rollerball perfume by Giorgio Armani. See, this stuff is bomb. I just recently discovered this, maybe about a month ago, or some cultural um, probiotics. I keep my ibuprofen in an old Tic Tac container because I think it's just the perfect little size to conveniently keep in your bags. Some winter fresh gum, more cultural. And inside of the little pocket here, I have trash or a receipt, whatever, and a fresh nap, little napkin. So that's... Then I also have my Ipsy bag. This bag I just got for May, the month of May, Ipsy. And I love it. It's um, just 
become another little pouch in my handbag as a catch-all. And it has my phone charger, some tissues, hand lotion. This lotion's really cute. I got a whole pack of them from my really good friend for my birthday. <laughs> I have more gum, which I did not realize. I had two packs of gum in my bag, but who can't, who can ever have enough gum? And then I have a Pure L little hand sanitizer. So that's it for that pouch. Next, I have my mini pochette. This is my favorite baby, and you guys all know that. Um, it's housing more things. And just so you know, my catch-alls always change. Like, the things inside of them um, always change. And um, depending on what handbag I'm using, depending if I want to use a catch-all as a handbag, it just, it, it changes. So in my mini pochette currently, I have just a regular hair clip. This is a hard copy. Um, for my work schedule a really cute nail file that I got in my Easter basket from my boyfriend's mom This is a random bumble and bumble BB cream conditioner that you can leave in or wash out But I haven't opened it or used it because it's like my emergency leave-in conditioner when my hair is frizzy if I'm ever wearing my hair curly So I'm saving that for a bad hair day and then I have my color pop in beeper my Maybelline Maple Kiss, I can never, ever go without this. I'm, like, obsessed with this lipstick. Some tweezers. My CoverGirl Lip Perfection Smoky Intense. I'm so shaky. It's so annoying. I just drank coffee. Um, lip liner. And this bracelet. Okay. <laughs> this is usually on my arm stack. I always wear it. This is, like, so effing cute you guys know that this is like resembling obviously the cartier nail bracelet it's 10 it was ten dollars i mean it used to be gold and now it's silver i don't know if you guys could see that I'm actually going to put it on now i just ugh, i love it okay so that's that what else is in my mini pochette this is never ending um baby lips some random um here let's do this oh no Okay, um, so if you watch my Ipsy, what was in my Ipsy bag, I got this little peak lip balm that's like a lip plump, plumping lip balm. This color's so pretty, and it I don't know if it actually plumps your lips. I'm not really too sure, but I really, really like it. And then I have some random little um, gold rings that were in here from Forever 21. And, oh no, I was going to say, and that's it, but of course it's not it. I have my Ray-Bans, my foldable Wayfarers in here that this box, this, this case is falling apart. I mean, you could see I've had them now for like three years, but oh well. And my, but my glasses aren't falling apart, so the case is doing its job. And then I also have, this is a little excessive, but I have another pair of sunglasses in here. They are my key um, sunglasses. They are on the prowl mirror finish. I don't know if you could see that. And it's the matte black. Obsessed. Key. I love that brand. I think it's so fantastic. Okay. So that is it, you guys. That's actually everything. I have light staining. I mean, just so you guys know, this bag is about almost six years old. So it looks fantastic. Obviously, the canvas is in um, phenomenal um, condition. There's really hardly anywhere on the corners. I will say the piping has faded a little bit right here. I have a little bit of, you know, like white scratches here on the canvas, but that's what it's there for. I don't know. I'm just like so proud of the patina and the wear on this. I think it looks fantastic. And I mean, it carries a ton. It's a huge hole. You guys saw how much fit in here. Here's the little D ring that, um, most Louis Vuitton handbags come with, I believe. I don't really use the D-ring. Maybe I will start using it. Okay, so let's go into packing it. Okay, sorry about the lighting, but now I'm going to show you guys how I pack this bag. All this junk next to me has to go in it. And I like to start with the biggest item, and it's my GM Agenda. I can stick it in this way, but I don't like risking, like, the, you know, scratching the glazing on um, the Agenda. So I put it in this way. Once it's mainly in I turn it onto its spine so that the snap side is facing up and I'll lean it towards the back the next biggest piece is my iPad mini and I like to lean that 
this could go in I just don't care about that scratching um, like that and next is my pochette accessory in the monogram print and it's like that so so far this is what it looks like you can hardly see my iPad it's right there that's that but there's still so much room in this bag tons and then next I'm going to take the ipsy bag I'm going to put it on the side in front of the pochette and then I'm going to take the mini pochette and put it on the other side in front of it so so far it looks like that then I'm going to take my sunglasses and sort of just stick them down probably in front of let's put them in front of my ipsy bag I mean I usually I don't have two sunglasses but for the purpose of the video I guess it works out so you guys could see how much fits in here and then let's take the water bottle a water bottle could fit perfectly fine like this but usually after I open the water bottle I'm always scared of like that I didn't close it correctly so I like having it sitting up somewhere or standing up in the bag so I'm just going to make my mini pochette go in another direction which is upwards and have the water bottle sitting up over here you guys can see it and then in this back pocket here I'm just going to stick my keys in first and then my clay and that's it now I'm ready to go to work so that is it you guys that is my speedy b30 and I really hope you guys liked it or or hopefully I explained it and was helpful to someone out there if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed please do and I will see you guys next time thanks for watching bye